Welcome to this second screencast on practicing multiple integrals, and I don't have a better name for it other than just to say second example. And this is it. You're asked to evaluate the following double integral. The integrand is, is y sine xy, and you're asked to evaluate this uh, integral, double integral over the rectangle specified here. So uh, x is between 1 and 2, and y is between 0 and pi. So unlike the, the first example I did, you now have uh, it's your choices to how to nest the integrals. You're going to evaluate this by, by repeated integration, of course, and it's your choice uh, as to how to, to nest those integrals. So let's start, and I'm going to, to first consider the case where I put the, the y integration on the outside. So my integrand y sine xy, and the x integral is first, so x dx goes first, and then dy. So how did I, so I decided to do it this way. Now I actually happen to know that this way is going to work out better and this is one of the things you're going to have to build up intuition about. In this case I see that again y is a constant here as far as this x integral goes. So I can just integrate that directly. Again, let me just, I go too fast here. Let me bring down my outer integral. So I'm going to integrate, do it, this integral over x and y is a constant here. So the integral of that is simply minus cosine of xy I might put the y in front, but okay, I call it minus cosine of xy between 1 and 2. And easily verify the derivative of that. I mean, I have that nice y there that I need for, for differentiating cosine x. All right, so dy. So this gives me, looks like it's minus cosine of 2x minus plus cosine, except that's y, of course, y minus uh, plus cosine of y dy. All right, so I've done my inner integral. It remains to do the outer integral. I now have two easy things to, to integrate. Co cosine of 2y, the integral of cosine is sine, so that's minus sine of 2y into 1 half uh, plus sine of y. And then sort of not, not to pi. Uh, 2 pi, that'll give me a 0 plus 0, so the answer is simply 0. Okay, the answer is 0. There you go. So straightforward enough. Now let's um, let's start to uh, to work it the other way. So again, just for practice, so I'll uh, do the do the repeated integration in the other order. In general, if you were asked to do this, if you were asked to, to evaluate this, you wouldn't go do do it once and then do it again unless you were uh, specifically asked to go evaluate it uh, uh, in both uh, in both orders of integration. You would just get the answer and be done. But let's uh, let's start on this. So it'll be y sine of x y my dy dx. All right. So now I have to integrate y sine of x y with respect to y. Ah, well, now I have an issue because uh, you can kind of try and manipulate this around, but you're going to see right away. I hope, or after just a little bit of thought, this is a question of integration by parts. This is integration by parts. So what you're going to have to do here is you're going to have to put the outer integral on hold for a minute while you work out this inner one. And you're going to have to do the, I'm going to start this. So you're going to set u is equal to y and dv is equal to sine of x, y, dy, differentiating du is equal to dy, v is equal to, now I have to integrate that. So integral of uh, sine is minus cosine x, y. I'm integrating with respect to y, so there's going to have to pull out an x, one over x in front. Oh dear. Okay, now, so I just, uh, so evaluating still this inner integral, so that's going to give me a uv. I'm just going to call it uv for the moment. Naught to pi minus the integral from naught to pi of v du, v du. Then you're going to put all these things in, and then you still have dragging, come along here, still for the ride, the uh, the outer integral. So uh, you're going to be at this for a while, but uh, if you press on ahead, you'll find, in fact, that it will give you, if you do all, the, the final result will be zero. It's right the same as on this side. I'm not going to do this here. So the message is that uh, the order of integration matters, and it will even be uh, more the case when we consider uh, general regions, not just rectangular regions. You simply have to, to do a number of examples, uh, build up some intuition, uh, look before you go, uh, start as to what might be the easier integral to do first. 
where sometimes they're tricky and it might seem as though you should go one way but in fact you should go the other uh, you can always start you know if you started this way this looked okay uh, right away I think you're gonna see that oh this maybe is a bad idea and then you can jump over to the other way and say oh this is a good idea and uh, again you just I think it's just a question of uh, doing different um, trying different problems and, and until you get some insight